Welcome to Black Swan Revelations. My name is Shane, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be working on improving your memory. We're not going to try and make you a memory master, but we're going to try and help you improve your memory. Why? So that when you go to read your Bible, there's ways that you can actually start to retain information. And I believe these tips will help you over the next few weeks. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, <clears throat> stick around, subscribe to this channel, and we'll jump right in with uh, one memory technique. And I got this from Ron White. His book is called Memory Improvement, How to Improve Your Memory in Just 30 Days. So this is why we're just going to take little lessons, little snapshots. We're going to talk about it. And then eventually we'll get to a point where we're going to start implementing this stuff into memorizing scripture verses, and you might be pleasantly surprised. So let's jump into basically lesson number one from his book. And one of those things is to get used to the idea of using a pencil list. Now, a pencil list is just a way to associate numbers with pictures basically at the end of the day so it's nothing too fancy but you come up with an object and then you and then you practice memorizing these objects and i'm going to show you how to do that on this video here so hopefully this will make sense by the end of the video so we'll just list out 20 objects so the first one is again this is called a pencil list so we got pencil, and then we have a sink. <clears throat> then we have circus. And we have track. And then we have star. And then we have bullet. And then we have dice. And then I'm going to show you how you can remember these. And we have hourglass. And then we have baseball. And we have fingers. And this is just from memory right now. I'm not reading off of a script or anything. I'm just I'm writing them all down. And then we have goal posts. And then we have eggs. And the neat thing about memory is you can talk and you can still see the objects in your head. More or less. <laughs> Maybe it isn't so easy to talk and write this stuff down. So what are we at here? 15? So this is... Paycheck, item number 15. And then we got car. Then we got magazine. And again, once you figure this out, magazine, just a spelling that you have to make sure and get. The list is there in your head. <clears throat> You don't even have to think about the list anymore. You just you just tuck it away and it's all there. <clears throat> and this is golf clubs. And you might be thinking, oh, this guy is um where's my eraser? I don't want to erase the whole works. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. You might be thinking, oh, this guy's just doing 
random words. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy. And this last one, a little bit parched. A little parched. Should have brought some water. Shotgun. Okay. So this list was just in my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, again, this is from his book. This is from chapter one. So the idea is just write out 20 things and then memorize these 20 objects. So the way that I learned it from his book is all of these objects, if you will, represent a number. So the number one is a pencil. Number two is a sink because sinks have a hot and a cold. Sometimes they have two faucets. Sometimes they have actually two sinks, especially in the kitchen. So a circus, you could think of a three ring circus. Four would be like a track. You know, race cars go around. So every time they go around a track, that's like a mile. And then you have five, five points for a star, six bullets in a gun. <clears throat> or you, if you get shot, I guess you're, you're buried six feet under. Seven is lucky dice. So you have uh, what's interesting about dice is the opposite ends of the dice actually add up to seven. So if you have a four on one side and you have a three on the other side, that's seven. If you have a five on one side, you have a two, six on one side, a one. So that's dice. Eight is an hourglass because the number eight is in the shape of an hourglass. Baseball, of course, is the number nine. Ten is fingers because we most of us have ten fingers. 11 is goalposts, so when, whenever <clears throat> someone kicks a field goal, the referee will put his hands up almost like a, a number 11. 12 is a dozen eggs. 13 is a flag because uh, there are 13, when the original, what are they, the thir first 13 colonies, there was 13 of them, 13 stripes, 13 uh, stars all this kind of stuff. Uh, 14 would be uh, 14 carats of gold, like a necklace. 15 is a paycheck. Most people get paid on the 1st and on the 15th. 16 is car. Is when you're 16, you get your driver's license. 17 is a magazine, because there's a teen magazine called 17. 18 is soldiers, so when you turn 18, you can become a soldier. And then 19 is when you go to the 19th hole, that usually means you go to the golf club or the golf house, the clubhouse, and you go for drinks. And then 20 is shotgun, 20 gauge shotgun. So you can see how if you picture the words and you match them up with the numbers, it's very easy to remember this stuff. Like I don't, I don't have to think about it it's just there because i know the pencil this number one is in the shape of a pencil number two is in the shape of a sink number three is spelt wrong circus three ring circus four tracks so now what you can do is you can do something fun you can fast forward or rewind this video so if i go like let me actually clear this part let me clear these <clears throat> well, I'm going to clear the, the words and let's do this as a test to see if we can figure out now that we know what the words are, let's see if we can figure match them up with the numbers. And what I'm going to do to make this fun is I'm going to just say the word for the number and you can decide by rewinding this video or watching it if I'm accurate. <laughs> so I'm just going to randomly pick numbers. This is baseball. This is hourglass. This is necklace. This is flag. This is dice. I should make this red. Let's go over here. This is soldier. This is paycheck. This is car. This is magazine. This is fingers. This is 
uh, goalposts, eggs, uh, star, track. This is three ring circus, uh, sinks, and then we have a pencil, and then we have bullet. What else do we have here? Oh, 19 is the watering hole, golf clubs, and then 20 gauge shotgun. So notice that I didn't have to think about the numbers. They're just there. I could just see them. If I see this number, I see this as a necklace. I see this as an hourglass. This is fingers. This is paycheck. This is a pencil. What is up here? Oh, that's my arrow. <laughs> Diamonds or di dice, I should say. So you just think of it like a six-sided dice right there. Boom. That's number seven. Right? Pretty cool, right? And then the flag is right here. Number 13. Remember, 13 stars, 13 stripes. Necklace is right here. 14 carat gold necklace. That would be nice. Necklace. Imagine if I gave you $15,000 on the 15th of every month. 15 k would you remember the 15th to go get your paycheck? Yes, you would. What's this one? Do you guys know what this one is? Soldier. 19, golf clubs. Baseball. Track. Circus. Bullets. Goalposts. Eggs. Car. Magazine. Dice. Flag. See how that works? I don't know if you're picking picking up what I'm throwing down. That is just one tip. And the plan is to each week is to add, add to that, pile on it. So again, what was one? What did I say one was? That's a pencil, right? Do you remember what seven is? It's dice. Did you get dice? What's nine? It's a baseball. Baseball diamond has nine players, nine innings. There is actually, I forget who the guy was or which team this was. Let me just think about this for a second. I want to say it was San Diego. I'm not sure what year it was. But anyways, they're down by nine runs in the ninth inning. It's crazy. Yep. Coming. All right, I have to go. Anyways. I uh, hope you got something out of this. Again, if you like this kind of thing where we start building memory, we start improving your memory, I should say, you're going to find that as you go through the Bible, you can start to remember things. And what we're going to do is we're going to spend a few work weeks building our, our memory, like improving it, just using tips and tricks and that kind of stuff. So that when at the end we'll dive into scripture. Maybe we'll take something like Genesis chapter one, or maybe it's Matthew chapter one or Revelation chapter one or something. And we're going to go through together and we're going to memorize an entire chapter of the Bible. And we're going to try and do it in like under 10 minutes or something and see if we can pull it off. And we're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. But so if you stick with me over the next few weeks, Again, our goal is not to just be like a mega memory superstar where you remember 300 digits in a row. And what's interesting is uh, Ron White is actually the, was the, the U.S. memory champ 2009, 2010. And he hold, I don't know if he still holds the record, but at one time he held the record for memorizing a deck of cards, a deck of 52 cards in a minute and 27 seconds, just by looking at it, took him a minute and a half and he memorized the entire 52 cards. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully you got something out of this. If you have, again, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments, let me know that you're interested in this kind of thing. And, and again, we're going to be building upon each lesson that's in this book, memory improvement, how to improve your your memory in just 30 days and, and we're doing it together because the goal is to help us memorize scripture verses from the bible so that you can be like those guys that are just randomly just they just recall verses here and there so 
there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. If you have, again, subscribe. Remember to click the thumbs up. We're working on your memory. So remember this. Give me a thumbs up. See you later. Bye for now.